Okay, today we need to discuss standards. All right, do you have standards for yourself and the ones that you love? Especially if you got a household, you like me, you the man of the house, nigga. You know what I'm saying? There's certain standards that I set in place. All right? This one I got from my dad. You always got to eat every night. Never let your babies go, go to bed hungry. You know what I'm saying? You know, water, electricity, you know what I mean? The basic necessities. Yeah? That's the base level of my standard shit. You know, then we take a step up, right? Okay. Me personally, I got to have a car, man. You know, I just can't be out like that exposed. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person that I have to have a car. Now, I've gone lots and lots of periods without a car. Lots. But I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So I have to keep myself in a position to where I can always have me a car. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm really doing well, you know, I need my car to have a sunroof. Egg. Hey, just because that's just a dope ass amenity. <laughs> that shit is just hard. You feel me? Be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need some fresh air, my neck. <laughs> I need some fresh air. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of, I'm just, I just like that. You know what I'm saying? Since I got my first car that had a sunroof, I've always been rocking with the sunroofs. You know what I'm saying? So that's just some small standard shit. You know what I'm saying? Food, you gotta make sure the kids have clean clothes. You know, I'm not a fashion type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? So my kids, they be having to tell me what to get. I need you to get this, 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 this. And then I'll check it out. And if the price of that item, you know, falls in line with them handling business and all that, they handling their business, and I ain't had to keep, you know, getting on them about shit. Pretty much let them have whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? As long as I can afford it, it ain't really no issue for me. But, but yeah, like, so let me think of some shit, like, like niggas. All right, listen, listen. I got a lot of cats that I'm cool with. You know what I'm saying? I got love for, you know, niggas. I'll be like, oh, what up, my nigga, if I ever see you out? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say what's up, bro. Show you love, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You selling something, if I got the bread, I'll buy it. Shit, I don't, you know. But if you somebody who's, like, always in the same position, always in the same place, always in the same spot, bro, Every time I see you five years down the, down the line, you still doing shit we was doing seven or eight years before that. <laughs> nah, bro. Do you know how horrible my life would be if I was still doing the same shit I was doing in high school, bro? Seriously. My life would be terrible. Terrible. My wife would have been gone. <laughs> She'd have been going, like, I can't do that shit. She'd have been out, you know. But I keep I keep standards, man, just because there's a certain quality of life I'm trying to live. You feel me? I'm trying to enjoy at least 80%. <laughs> when I hop off in my ride, nigga, I'm happy. Enjoying that shit. When I pull up to my house, I'm enjoying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit, just driving through my neighborhood like, bro, this shit is nice. <laughs> nigga, like, I really live here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro, I work hard as hell to get there, too. On my own. Well, with my woman. With my woman. You know, and there's some people I can, you know, shout out that, uh, you know, that help to play out. You know what I'm saying? Help me along to keep me on the right track because I for damn sure almost fucked this up a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I want to enjoy at least 80% of my life. You know what I'm saying? I say 80% because I understand that everybody's going to go through hard times. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's going to be easy. Ain't nothing going to get handed to you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get your ass up and get out there and get it. And you really might not enjoy that process to grind. But I'm learning to love it. For real. Because one thing I did, I realized is that once you make it somewhere, you kind of have this like, eh, like, you don't really know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I've been working so hard to try to get to this shit, and now I'm here. You like... 
<laughs> what do I do? You know what I'm saying? You go to the next thing. That's why you always got to be, you know, you got to be projecting shit, man. For real. Gotta keep your mind going. Keep your head in the game. For real. But yeah. Standards, man. You know what I'm saying? So now that I done reached a certain level, you know, now it's not just a car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta, gotta get a car. But now it's like, I could be picky. Like, uh, uh, uh. I don't want no car that ain't got leather seats. Sorry. Then it went to, I need the heated seats. <laughs> now it's the heated and the cool seats. You feel me? Hey, <laughs> nigga, I'm just saying, though, bro. Like, see, niggas be thinking I'm bragging and shit, but I'm not. I'm just, yeah, I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about you. That's another thing that gets on my nerves. Like, how do people get so offended from, I'm not gonna just gonna say me, but people like me expressing ourselves. You're offended because you a bullshit motherfucker, nigga. That's the only reason you mad. Because you not doing what you wanna do. And you see somebody else, somebody that you probably don't like, let's just keep it real, doing what they wanna do. And you want that energy. You know what I'm saying? But the hate in your heart is blocking the mess. <laughs> <laughs> the hate in your heart yeah, yeah you feel me you can learn from anybody out here you know what i'm saying you just can't be letting certain shit get in the way there's a lot of niggas i didn't like you know what i'm saying but i don't learn from them niggas like oh shit okay damn that's why it was like that like yeah you know what i'm saying you gotta <clears throat> you gotta peep with that eye you know what i'm saying not with your heart but with your eye my nigga Y'all niggas be missing out on all kind of shit. <laughs> Just because you hate, you nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, bro. Look. I ain't worried about none of that. None of that. You know what I'm saying? So I handle mine. I wake up every day with my family's mission in mind. Never veer away from it. You know what I'm saying? Even if I do get distracted from it. Because this year was hard. This, this year let me know exactly how happy I truly am hella happy for real i didn't know how happy i was until my heart got broke like damn and my my true feeling the way i truly feel just kept coming back out like nigga psh, man i hate i hate all that shit that happened all of it but it did not break me in fact it taught me something you know what i'm saying it taught me how to recognize when i'm in an emotional state you know, because you could be cool, you wake up good, start having, you know, start the day off good, having a great day and shit. And then, you know, when them thoughts come in, like, damn, I can't believe, you know, that you falling into an emotional state. You don't want to do nothing you might regret. You know I me? Mean? But all right, man, I done got off the topic and everything, you know what I'm saying? But standards, man, let's keep them together. At first off, let's put them in place. A lot of you niggas ain't even got no damn standards. That's why you fuck with people that don't fuck with you. That's how you allow yourself to get used, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? By not having no standards. Keep your standards and put your standards in place and keep them intact. Don't let nobody get you off your path of where you're trying to go and what you're trying to do for yourself. Especially if you got a family. Now, if you got a family, come on, man. Get your ass up, man. Come on. Come on, man. Because ain't nobody going to do it for you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's going to be a nigga to come through and drive your car. <laughs> rock your wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whip your kid's ass, nigga. You know what I mean? If you don't keep yourself together. Get it in, man. Come on, let's go. It's time to be great, baby. Unlimited, unlimited opportunity out here, bro. Just got to get your ass up. Let's go.